today, we're taking a deep dive into the world of data science as it stands in 2024. We'll explore the journey from the boom years of 2020 to the more specialized and nuanced fields that we see today. So let's get started. First, let's rewind to 2020. The world was in the grip of the COVID pandemic and industries were facing unprecedented challenges. This really propelled the tech industry though, as many things went online rather than in person. So more specifically, data science was on the rise with a 50% increase in demand across various industries and markets. Healthcare, tech, media, and financial services were particularly hungry for data science talent, and they went on a hiring spree. Fast forward to 2022 and 2023, the pandemic subsides and the data science market sees a dramatic shift in the wrong direction. Big tech companies cut down their job postings by 90%. It was a tough market for both the entry-level data scientists and the experienced scientists. Over this two-year period, we saw over 500,000 layoffs across all of the jobs in the tech industry with over 30% of those layoffs in the engineering and data science roles. But during this time, what else has changed other than layoffs? The answer there is the rise of specialization. The general data scientist role began to give way to more focused positions like machine learning engineers and data engineers. There was less of an emphasis on the data scientist that can do the end-to-end -end work. And of course, let's not forget the impact of AI, specifically OpenAI. Tools like ChatGPT made AI more accessible and data science work more efficient and automated. So now in 2024, let's take a look at how the landscape has further evolved. Though the overall job opportunities have decreased, the market is finally stabilizing. There is a particular demand for experienced professionals in specialized roles. Your ability to code is as important as ever, as this is particularly important for jobs in machine learning engineering. But at the same time, data analysts, business analysts are benefiting from the rise of low code and no code tools that were made popular by the rise in AI, specifically plugins that ChatGPT can use to automate a lot of data science work. The data science market is now more bifurcated than it was before. We're seeing clear distinctions between jobs like business analysts, AI, ML engineers, and data engineers. So should we actually call this trifurcated? In addition, you're seeing more of a consolidation in the programming languages a data scientist would use. So this is often dominated by Python, which continues to dominate it, and SQL, which will always be there. But what you're seeing is popularity is declining with other languages such as R and SAS and SAP. So if you're really trying to decide on what language to get better at and learn, Python and SQL will always be there and will always be the dominant language. So looking ahead into this year, the challenge for data science is to demonstrate their value in ROI. The initial hype is settling and companies are looking for results. So data scientists will really need to prove their worth here. They'll need to specialize in their skills, whether it be ML engineering, data engineering, or data analytics. They'll need to adapt to the new powerful tools that are being developed like Google's Gemini, Galactica, and of course, JetGPT. So that wraps up our exploration of data science in 2024. It's a field that's constantly changing and evolving and adapting to new challenges and opportunities. But as always, we're here to help keep you updated on the latest trends and insights. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.